Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and let's start off our morning with right thinking. So, as you're tuning in, let me ask you this question. First of all, what's one thing you're thankful for? I would love for you to share below. And did you read anything this morning? Did you listen to anything this morning that got your mindset moving in the right direction? You might be like, what does that mean? That's what we talk about here on the Keto Mom page in the mornings is mindset, thinking, your brain. There's lots of things around that conversation I like to talk about. On the Keto Mom page, eight years ago, this page started off with just recipes. I think it's great. I will give you recipes. There's also 1,479 different pages that give you recipes. I actually have no idea. But there are a lot of places you can get keto recipes. I think it's great. I want to help you get healthier. I also want you to understand that there's more than just the food that you eat that impacts your health. And it's your mindset. It's how you think. And if you don't pay attention to that and you have a negative mindset, stinking thinking, it's going to affect all areas of your life. So tell me one thing you're thankful for in the chat. I would love to know. This morning, I am thankful. I'm listening. I'm sharing with you on a Monday morning if you're watching live. Uh, I'm thankful that we are set and ready to go with a newer routine. We've got school ready. We are moved into our new home. We're not fully unpacked, but I'm thankful. I'm thankful. We haven't even been here a week and I feel like we've already done so much. Our girls are loving Florida. I'm thankful for the walk that I got to go outside with my husband this morning. I'm thankful that he's packing ketones up to send out for trials. He's right on the other side, packing ketones up to send to you. I'm thankful for the reboot. I've got my ketones this morning and electrolytes. So many of you are doing the reboot with us. So I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for the beautiful weather outside. I love palm trees. What are you thankful for? It's super, super important. Start your day off with gratitude. And cheers to an incredible new week. All right. There's a book that I'm going to start, but we can't start it till probably the first week or second week in October. It's called Mind Shift. It's a brand new book coming out. I'm super excited. It's actually in, I think you can get it October 3rd. I pre-ordered it. So for those of you that like to go through the books with me, you've already been asking. That's the book. That's when the one we're going through. When I have it physically, I'll go through it here on the Keto Mom page. What? You can pre-order it. It's called Mind Shift by Erwin McManus. Now, uh, for the last couple of years, we've been going through books. And I like to give you something to think about or something along your mindset. I'll talk about food later. I think it's important. I think the way you think is more important. So I was going through my books this morning, and I grabbed a book uh, from an author that I think is incredible. His name is John Maxwell. <clears throat> it's called Thinking for a Change. And I was reading something this morning that I wanted to share with you going to give you a thought for this morning. So uh, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for saying good morning. And thank you for telling me all the things you're thankful for. So here is a thought for you this morning. Uh, he says, becoming a better thinker is worth your effort because of the way, because the way that you think really impacts every aspect of your life. He goes, if you're, if you think poor, so poor thinking produces negative progress. Average thinking produces no progress. Good thinking produces some progress. Great thinking produces great progress. Yet one of the reasons people don't achieve their dreams or their goals, the things that you want in life, is that they desire, their desire to change their results without changing their thinking, without changing your mindset. So uh, it's kind of like, he gives an example. He says, it's kind of like you want to reap corn, right? We've got you understand how a farmer works. They plant a seed, they reap the harvest. So he's like, it's kind of like if somebody wants to reap a harvest of corn, he goes, they don't plant beans. They don't plant nestles. They don't plant cotton. They don't plant, like, whatever you're planting in your life is what you're going to reap. If you're reaping a harvest that you don't like, you've got to look at what you're planting. And it starts with your thinking. So... Do you wake up in the morning and do you look outside and go, Lord, thank you for, or do you get up in the morning and go, 
Uh, I have to go to work. Uh, my kids are screaming. Uh, I have to switch the laundry. Uh, I have to. Uh, and I'll catch myself. Oh, I have to go do this. And my husband and I hold each other accountable. You get to go do that. Yes, I'm thankful. I get to go do that. Guess what? You are alive today. You are given another day. We had a great friend that lost her life a week ago. Uh, and she was super young and world known, like known by so many people and yet so young. And today you're alive. You have another day to make an impact on somebody else's life. And guess what? You can either go into your work environment, your school environment, your home environment, any place that you go and be a stinking thinking person. And guess what? You can read it all over people. You can look at the way that they walk or you walk or your posture or your face. I like to tell my kids, listen, if you're happy and you know it, tell your face. Uh, maybe look at your own self in your mirror before you get out of your car and go, do I look like somebody that's joyful? If I don't, if I'm going into work and I have this like, hey, today is one of those days, then take it. Sometimes people will say, okay, I get it, Stephanie. You've been talking about thinking for so long. What do I do to change my thinking? Uh, number one, it's a discipline. It's a choice. So when you get up in the morning, you've got to stop for a second, take a breather and just go, what am I thankful for? On your mirror, the first place that you look when you're brushing your teeth and getting ready in the morning, write something in, you can get a whiteboard marker on your mirror and write, what am I thankful for? So it reminds you, what are you thankful for? It can easily start that way. I would say something else you can do right away to change the way you think in the morning. Do you, do you go on to Instagram? Do you go on to Facebook? Are you constantly looking into other people's lives without looking at your own? Stop that. Uh, listen to a podcast. Right before I started this, on my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories, I shared three podcasts that I really enjoy. Ed Milet, uh, Craig Groeschel, Erwin McManus. They're all completely different. Ed Milet talks about lots of different things. I shared something called the 10X, is it called the 10X Rule? Uh, it's an incredible podcast. I gave you a link for it. It's in my stories. Uh, Craig Rochelle has two different podcasts. Incredible. I shared his leadership one. And then Erwin McManus, same. Him and his son have a mind shift. It's the book we're going to go through in October. Are you listening to something when you're brushing your teeth? Ladies, when you're doing your makeup, when you're hopping in the shower, when you're making your coffee. Steve and I went for a walk and we listened to our Bible this morning. So we were talking, but we listened to a Proverbs of the day. I have people that go, how, where, where do I start with my Bible? First of all, uh, if you understand the book of Proverbs, the book of wisdom, we went and listened to Proverbs 25 today. Today is September 25th. There's a, there's a free Bible app for you. Go download it. It's called YouVersion Bible app. Go to Proverbs. It's the book of wisdom and listen to Proverbs 25. It matches up with the date of the, of the month. Uh, there's lots of things you can do to get your mind in a space where you're moving forward with a positive mindset in whatever environment you're going into. It's a choice. You watch your words, you watch what you're thinking, and you watch what you're watching and listening to. Did you turn on the news this morning? It is not going to help anybody. If it's really important, somebody will tell you. Shut it off. Are you listening to great music that inspires you, or is it garbage music? And yes, there's both. And so, or sit down and if you're read, if you're, if you are, um, drinking your coffee this morning, or I'm drinking my ketones, if you're drinking your ketones this morning, what's your favorite flavor or what's the, what's the flavor you're drinking? Um, pick one page in a book. Oftentimes I think people think, well, I don't have time to work on my mindset. I don't have time to read. I don't have time to, you have time for what you make time for. You could easily pick up a book and read one page or five pages, it won't take very long. If you're not a reader, listening to a book is just as powerful, right? That's where podcasts come in, super, super powerful. So here's what he said, and then he said, um, we talked about planting seeds. He says, if you expect to reap corn when you plant nestles, you're not going to get corn, no matter how much time you spend watering, fertilizing, and, and cultivating your plants. If you don't like the crop that you are reaping, you need to change the seeds you are sowing. Do you want to achieve, then sow the seed of good thinking. 
Do you want to reach your goals? Whatever your goals are. It doesn't matter if it's financial, relationship, spiritual, uh, in your workspace, in your home space, physical relationships. Guess what? You've got to change the seed of good thinking. It's one of the most important things. And a very simple thing that you can do to help you move forward and achieve those goals. One of the reasons that people do not achieve their goals is because they've got wrong thinking. So here's my encouragement to you today. I want you just to pay attention to what you're thinking about, the things that you're watching. Did you read something this morning? Did you, I don't know that No, I do know. I hate it when I say that. I do know super, super, super important. So, um, Somebody asked, can you tell me where the podcasts are? Yeah, I listen to podcasts on the podcast app. So if you go to your app store, it's called podcast. I don't think it's for, I think it's only an Apple podcast. Go to Spotify, right? Are they on Spotify too? I think anybody can listen to Spotify. I have an Apple, so I just listen to it on that podcast app. Even YouTube. You guys, you can YouTube a majority of these and you can listen to all of them. So I put them in the, if you go to Instagram, my Instagram, and you click on the links in each of them, it'll open them up or Spotify and type in all of their names and they'll be there as well. So super, super important. You're very welcome, Patty. Patty said she needed this this morning. Uh, And if you're still in a negative space, shut your eyes for a second, take a deep breath and just be thankful. Be thankful. You're welcome. You're welcome, Dorothy. All right. Why don't you tell me this? Does anybody have any questions, anything that I can help answer? Uh, I would love to know something that I, I, I listen. Oh, were you going to say something? This is one of my most favorite questions. I asked it last night. Um, and it's if you knew, so we could do this with thinking, with reading books, with your mindset. I did this last night when I was talking about ketones. Last night I did a live. We packed up ketones. We're doing the reboot. We're doing it as a community, as a big group. Uh, If you've never tried these, I'm mailing them out today. Post trial in the comments. They're super powerful. Uh, Actually, ketones turn on your brain. It's one of the, well, it's one of the most important benefits. Most people want fat loss. I think that's great. I'll help you with it. Most people need energy. They need something they can feel right away. But long terms, long term, ketones are truly brain fuel. So if you've never tried them, I've got small trial packs, five days, 10 days, post trial below. Um, But what I was going to say, and then I got down a rabbit hole of, that's a good question, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I'm sure it was very insightful. Hmm. It'll come back to me. Anyways, I want to say, thank you for tuning in. Take a breather. Your mindset is a choice. You do have to eliminate some things if you're listening to a lot of negativity. It might even be friends. I know, that's the hardest part. Choose some good friends that are going to push you to be the best version of you. If you don't have them around you right now, that's why you have online mentors and online podcasts and people that you can go to to listen and learn from. Anything else? Do you have anything I should talk about? Oh, I know where I was going. Last night during the live, when we were talking about fitness, I said, if you knew then what you know now, because there's a lot of people that have been here for years, and so they were sharing some fitness tips, some tips around keto, low-carb, If you knew then what you knew now, does anybody have anything you want to share around mindset? If you knew then, maybe when you just started learning that your mindset was so important, what you know now, what would you share? If you knew then what you know now around mindset, reading, thinking right, gratitude, what would you share? If you have any great insight, I would love for you to share it below. Otherwise, we've got the reboot for the next 60 hours. It's a 60-hour keto reboot. It's a longer fast, but it's got ketones, electrolytes, protein. If you've never done it, continue to tune in, and I'll share more with you. If you're doing it, stay focused. Reach out with questions. You can always go to keto. This is what we're doing right now. So if you want to know more about this and you want to join me for next month, just post reboot in the comments, and we'll chat. Uh, if you want to... Uh, Go, if you need recipes, anything else you're looking for, ketomomsecrets.com. <laughs> Annie, you can come in. She's out. <laughs> what? All right. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a wonderful day.